I told you I got you. Resolution Sports, the number one source, breaking from football up to a stream sport. So come on and join the resolution. Join the resolution. We're here with Zachary Ochoa, just wrapped up his second professional win, his second professional knockout. Zachary, you know, I've been uh, kind of waiting to see you fight. Was hoping to see you fight on the Saddam Ali card. Hornet did come through. Then I want to see you fight out here tonight. Oh, you gives me 42 seconds. Can you kind of talk me through, uh, you know, this this work you did here tonight, 42 second knockout? What I wanted to do really was come, impress the crowd, do what I did in training camp, knock people out there and sparring. So I wanted to do the same today. So I went off my jab, went off my jab. I didn't do, I didn't throw one right hand. That's why I told my chair, I'm not gonna throw one right hand. I have for the first round, and I dropped him with a jab. And was done after that, and his nose is bleeding. As soon as I jabbed, his nose started leaking. He fell on the floor. And that was the end of the fight. Now, after the way you saw him fall, obviously you knocked his equi equilibrium completely off, and you saw him falling back into the ropes and really was trying to get himself right. Yeah. Did you think he was going to continue to fight? I, I wanted him to continue to fight because I didn't get to hit him with our right hand. I wanted to send him, you know, I wanted to send him out. But what are you going to do? I got to thank God for this victory, and I've been training hard. I train hard every day, and I'm going to be on top of the world. No doubt. And that was it difficult for you, Zachary? You know, you uh, obviously put in a full camp uh, going into the fight, that uh, hopefully being on Saddam Ali's card, and I figured you probably just went straight into camp with this fight. Uh, you know, was it difficult for you having that long camp like that, uh, you know, since the opponent backed out with your last schedule day? The thing is, it's not difficult for me because I stay in the gym every single day. I'm staying in the gym maintaining my weight, so it's not like I finish the training camp, don't get the fight, then I go up to 150 pounds. No, I'm always at 144 pounds, so I can just lose three pounds and then fight. So I'm always in shape. Do I get frustrated? A little bit when opponents pull when when out, but I just can't let that get to me. I gotta stay patient, and I gotta keep on doing what I do, and that's training hard and winning to fight. And now here in your two wins, that's two knockouts. Is that something we should continue to expect from you? Of course, of course. I mean, I don't hit soft. I hit really hard. I didn't even get to see my fast hand speed. All they saw was a fast jab. No doubt. What do you think's next for you, Zachary? When do you think's the next time we'll see you back in the ring? I'm ready to fight in two weeks, man. I'm ready to fight any time. But, you know, I'll take a couple days off, then I'll be right back in the gym doing what I do best. No question, no question. All right, Zach, you look good out there tonight. What you gave to us anyway. Uh, I'm still right. waiting to see a little more work, though. I'm going to have to come out the gym and of catch course. you out. You'll see it. You'll see it, man. <laughs> if you come to my gym, you can see me work out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Count me in for that. We'll definitely have to do it. All right, Zach, thank you for the time. All right, See you fading, them lightning bolts so 